everyone, Mary Meat, and I wanted to talk to you today about hagstones. Excuse the state of my desk, I've been painting. And hagstones are any stone that has a naturally occurring hole in them. This one's got plenty, there's one there as you can see. There's also, there's also one just around the other side. So there's quite a few holes in this one as you can see. I don't know what sort of stone this is, but it's full of holes. It's obviously something that um, erodes away quite easily with water. And what happens is it'll be like a stone that's lying somewhere near a body of water and it's got that constant drip, drip, drip of water on it. And eventually the drip of the water creates a hole through it with it by erosion. And it's believed that because the element of water over time has created that hole, that this stone retains that energy that protective and cleansing energy and hagstones were believed to the reason they're called hagstones is because they were believed to protect you from um bad things that were happening to you caused by old hags witches um they're they're used for protection basically it's a good protective talisman and it was believed that like um if you got some sort of illness or misfortune that was caused by a um, spell from a hag, that this would protect you from it. Um, hag stones work better if you find your own. This is the only one I've ever found myself on the beach. I live really far away from the beach, so it's very rare I get to go and have a look. Um, and I don't live by any bodies of water either. <clears throat> so for me, they're quite rare. And I don't want to buy one. You can buy them on... It's um, eBay and Etsy and stuff, but why pay for something I can find for free? My daughter actually found one in her grandma's garden shortly before she passed. Um, so I'll, I'll include a picture of my daughter's um, when I can, because obviously she wears it. Um, <clears throat> but they were also known by other names like adder stones, snake eggs, hex stones, fairy stones. And the reason they're called, they're called fairy stones is it was believed that if you look, close one eye and look through the holes of the stone, you can look into the, the fairy realm. Um, but the main thing that they're used for nowadays is for protection. And it's said that if you wear a hagstone around your neck, if it breaks, it's basically it's saved your life. It's protected you against some real bad harm. You'll find these mostly like on the seaside, on the riverbed, um, that sort of thing. They have to be by water. That's, the, that's how they're made. And it can be made out of absolutely any material. It doesn't matter what material it was, it's made out of. Um, they've been used by witches for centuries in both ritual and spell work and obviously for protection. Um, apparently they can be used to um, ward off the dead, ward off curses, sickness and nightmares. So if you hang this, it's said that if you hang this above your bed um, at night time, it will help clean, cleanse your mind and spirit and give you good and enable you to have good dreams it'll like trap the bad dreams kind of think like almost like a dream catcher type of thing um in in the past like in the olden days um farmers would tie them um around to protect their animals and if you have um hagstones on a red cord during salwin it's supposed to help protect you while the veil's thin um, from any evil spirits that might do you harm. Um, fishermen would used to tie them on their boats to prevent um, evil, like you know, any bad things, evil spirits attacking the boat or causing them to have, um, you know, a bad haul of fish, like not being able to catch any fish. To let you know as well, another place I've found hagstones is in gravel. Like if you've got um, a gravel driveway, if you look, you'll find a hag, nine times out of ten, you'll find a hagstone in there. Um, there'll be at least one with a naturally occurring hole in it. Because um, obviously the stones have come from nature that they use for the driveways. So it's a case of looking and you will find one. That's, when my, that's how my daughter found hers in her grandma's garden. 
So that's it. That's what hagstones are and what they're used for. Um, good luck if you find one. Make sure you keep it safe. Um, and if you can, fasten it onto a cord and carry it around with you. Um, or, like me, leave it on your altar. Um, but it works better if you carry it around with you if you want to use it as a protective talisman. Um, so, yeah. Hagstones. They might not look at like anything much, but they are an important protective tool in uh, witchcraft. Hope you enjoyed this video. Blessed be, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.